Hey everybody, it's Steve, and I just got this cool little four beam laser from Donner. Have you ever wondered how professional laser shows have big beams of moving light? Well, to see the beams of a laser, you need to put either haze or fog in the air with something like this little fog machine. And in this video, I want to unbox both of these, then show how this laser works in autoplay, sound active, and DMX modes, and also with its little remote. And then show how a small fog machine like this can make the effects of this laser even more awesome. This laser comes with a small instruction manual, this little remote, the power cord, and the unit itself. This is a four beam laser with individual green, yellow, blue, and red DPSS laser diodes that are directed past four rotating mirror heads to make more than a hundred different graphic patterns. And it's all built into this aluminum alloy case with these adjustable brackets on the top for hanging from a truss or T-stand. On the back, there's a power in jack with an illuminated on-off switch cooling fans, DMX in and out jacks, and this LED display with menu control buttons. Oh, and also a microphone here for the sound active functions. When you first turn this laser on, it's in auto one mode, where it cycles through different images and simple animations. Another press of the menu button and you're in the second auto mode where it cycles through the patterns more quickly. Press again, and you're in the first sound active mode. Another press of the menu button, now you're in the second sound active mode. In this mode, the patterns stay on a little bit longer. Press it again, and now you're in DMX mode, where you can set the starting address with the up and down buttons. Hit enter to save. And then press it one more time. And now you're in a mode where when you hit enter, it's going to freeze whatever pattern is playing in auto mode. And you can go in and you can adjust the individual output levels of the laser. So for example, the first one, you can take down the level of the red laser or up and you can select each of the different lasers by going into enter, picking the next light, hitting enter. This is the blue one. And you can take the level of it down and adjust each light accordingly. Now let's take a look at this little remote. This one actually works a lot better than some of the remotes from other lights I've tried. And you can set a lot of different functions using it. You can select both the auto functions, sound active mode, the sensitivity of the microphone, and you can select different combinations of the laser's colors using these buttons. You can also stop the motor from running and put it in DMX mode. If you want even more control over the different parameters and functions, you can connect it with the DMX cable to a simple controller like this Lixida Show Designer and adjust each of its 12 DMX channels. On channel one, you can select the different auto and sound active modes, just like we saw in the menu controls. Let's jump to channel six, and here you can go in and select one of 45 different patterns. So let's select this simple one. And you can see that on channels two through five, you can set the individual output levels of each of the four lasers. And then on channel seven, you can position a pattern right or left. And in the higher values, you can auto cycle that movement. On channel eight, you can adjust the vertical position. And in the higher values, auto cycle. 
And now let's pick another pattern like this J. And here you can see on channel nine, you can set the orientation. On channel 10, you can rotate it. On channel 11, you can rotate it on the X axis. And on channel 12, you can zoom in and you can cycle it at different speeds. And remember, you can set any combination of these different effects. So all these different effects look pretty cool and laser sharp when they project against a wall or curtain. But to take it up to the next level, you'll want to see the beams of the lasers as they shoot out of the machine. So let's open up one of these. The fog machine comes in this brightly colored box with a little manual, power cord, this wired remote control, and the unit itself. To use this machine, you first plug in the remote control into this jack, which looks a lot like a DMX jack. Then attach the power cord and you fill this tank with fog machine fluid. Then turn on the power switch. And after about three minutes, this red light on the remote will come on. And once everything's warmed up, you just hit this button. And voila. Fog machines need a little tender loving care to work their best, mainly keeping them clean by running fog machine cleaner through them or even a mix of vinegar and water after each time you have used them. This fog machine also has another function, this switch that says auto spray. And when you flip that, it'll go on continuously without having to use the remote. So let's put the two of these together and try and see some beams. Now for best results, you want the fog to be dispersed into a thin mist. And a small fan like this can actually help by breaking up the fog and spreading it out.